Chapter 1, The Roar of Rebellion In the hushed shadows of Futsan, China, where the scent of impending revolution hung thick in the air, there lived a man named Chung Hong Sing. Orphaned and alone, he found solace in the art of Kung Fu, a skill passed down to him first by Li Yao San, then by Chan Hyung, and finally honed under the tutelage of the elusive green grass monk. But Chung Hong Sing was no ordinary martial artist, he was the embodiment of loyalty, determination, and passion, with a fervent love for his country that burned brighter than the fiercest sun. It was the 1850s, a tumultuous period in the Qing dynasty, and the drums of rebellion reverberated across the land. The Taiping Rebellion had been unleashed, a storm threatening to shatter the oppressive reign of the Qing dynasty and usher in a new era. For Chung Hong Sing and his devoted students, this moment was what they had been preparing for all their lives. The martial arts school he founded, the Hong Sing Kun, was not merely a sanctuary for learning combat techniques, it was a fortress of revolutionary fervor. Every punch, every kick, every whispered word carried the weight of a nation's dream the dream to overthrow the Qing dynasty and birth a new China. But dreams, when spoken too loudly, have a way of reaching the ears of those who would crush them. The government, alerted to Chung Hong Sing's activities, issued arrest warrants for him and his students. Panic seized the Hong Sing Kun as news of the warrants spread like wildfire. The martial artists, once masters of their craft, were now the hunted. As dawn broke, the clash of metal against metal and the thud of fists meeting flesh echoed through the narrow alleys of Futsan. Insane battles unfolded, Kung Fu experts pitted against government soldiers, each blow struck in defiance of tyranny. Blades gleamed in the sunlight, finding their targets with deadly precision, while bodies twisted and danced in a macabre ballet of combat. In the midst of this chaos stood Chung Hong Sing, his eyes ablaze with determination, his every movement a testament to his unwavering resolve. Amidst the turmoil, the Hong Moon brothers, scattered across Futsan and Hong Kong, rose up like guardians. With hearts ablaze with loyalty, they shielded Chung Hong Sing and his students from the onslaught of government forces and local police. The alliance forged in blood and honor became a beacon of hope in the darkest of times. Yet, safety was a luxury they could ill afford. Chung Hong Sing, his wife Chan Kei, their two sons, and the students of Hong Sing Kun became nomads, constantly on the move, ghosts in their own land. They dared not stay in one place for long, for fear of discovery. Each night, they sought refuge in the shadows, their eyes scanning the horizon for any sign of danger. But Chung Hong Sing's spirit remained unbroken. His belief in the righteousness of their cause was unyielding, and he knew that every step taken, every blow struck, brought them closer to their ultimate goal. Hong Kong, a sanctuary where the Hong Moon Brotherhood awaited their arrival, became their beacon of hope. The journey was treacherous, a relentless battle against time and adversity. The path was marked by sacrifice and bloodshed, by moments of staggering bravery and heartbreaking loss. But through it all, Chung Hong Sing and his band of warriors pressed on, their spirits undiminished, their loyalty unshakable. In the heart of the night, beneath the canopy of stars that bore witness to their struggle, Chung Hong Sing would gather his weary warriors. Around the flickering light of a campfire, he would speak of their purpose, their mission to overthrow the Qing dynasty and usher in a new dawn, for their homeland. His words were like a flame, igniting the embers of determination in their hearts. And so, they marched onward, driven by the legacy of their fallen comrades, fueled by the fire of their convictions. The world might see them as rebels, as outlaws, but they knew themselves to be patriots, warriors fighting for the soul of a nation. In the darkness, a new day was dawning, and the roar of rebellion echoed through the ages, a testament to the indomitable spirit of a people who refused to bow in submission. And at the heart of it all, stood Chung Hong Sing. His fists clenched, his eyes ablaze, a symbol of unwavering loyalty, determination, and passion. Little did the Qing dynasty know that in Chung Hong Sing, they had awoken a force more powerful than any they had ever faced. The storm was coming, and nothing could stand in its way.